Thanks for stopping by on this video. Today I'm going to be reviewing the Echo Buds Gen 2. say that these little guys surprised me a little bit more than I thought they would especially for the price but before I get started with the review for these I'd like to say you know thanks for coming by in the video I really appreciate it and if you do end up liking the video make sure you hit that thumbs up down below and possibly subscribe to the channel where I like to do vlogs and uh, tech review from time to time whenever I can afford it uh, also I'll have a link down below for these Echo Buds Gen 2 down below if you don't mind clicking on that link and purchasing it there, uh, it won't cost you anything extra and I'll just get like a little small kickback for it. So anyways, let's get started with the review. Now I was very surprised about these Bluetooth headphones. I really didn't think they'd be that good for the price. And this is coming from somebody that owns the AirPods Pro. I know some of you may think Apple's products are overpriced. A lot of people might agree with you, including myself from time to time. But in this case, I really haven't found any wireless earbuds that have been quite as good as these AirPods Pro, and I've tried several. But that was until today when I tried out these Echo Buds Gen 2. Like I said, these things surprise me for what they are, and for the price you get really good bass. Like, these are the best bass giving wireless earbuds I've ever used. Um, I'm no audiophile like some people may be out there, but I'll tell you, the bass from these things, superb. I mean, the bass coming from these things, I wish so dearly were on these things. Like, really blows the AirPods Pro out of the water when it comes to bass. So if you love bass, these are great wireless earbuds to get. Another great thing about these wireless earbuds is that through the Alexa app, you can actually fine tune the sound that comes out of these bad boys. So like I said, I'm no audiophile, but you do get three options. You can increase or lower the bass, increase or lower the treble, or increase or lower the mids. So, I mean, that's three options. Like I said, I'm not an audiophile. I don't know if these are going to be enough options for you or not, but it's definitely more options than you can get with the AirPods Pro. Now, another great thing about these Gen 2 Echo Buds is that they have audio pass-through, just like these AirPods Pro. And like I said, these are way cheaper. And I have to say the audio pass-through for these is really quite good. You can also adjust how transparent these buds will be. So you can increase the sensitivity to the outside sounds or you can decrease the sensitivity to the outside sound. I will say though, if you like increase the sensitivity, you're going to hear a lot of what sounds like white noise in the background. So that can be very distracting. I know I was very distracting whenever I had it maxed out, but there is the possibility for that if you want to be able to hear more clearly everything around you. Uh, right now I have the pass through at about halfway on the slider and unfortunately I can still hear a little bit of background white noise. Um, so it can be, like I said, a little distracting. You can also lower it so you don't hear it as much. but. In turn, you won't be able to hear the outside noise as much around you, which can be good or bad. You know, what I really like about these is that it gives you the option to control what you want from your wireless earbuds. Another thing I really love about these Echo Buds Gen 2 is that they work a lot like AirPods. If you're somebody that has used AirPods before, you would know that they have this neat feature where when you put them in your ear, it'll automatically connect to your phone. So you don't have to like go through your Bluetooth settings and hit connect to your Bluetooth headphones. So it's it's really great. It's a really nice feature to have. Let me tell you, it saves time. And well, I guess that's the main thing. It saves us time. It also has a feature like AirPods. And I'm sure a lot of Bluetooth headphones are starting to get this feature now, but when you take them out, it'll automatically pause whatever you're listening to. So that's very nice to have when you just want to pop one out to listen to whatever somebody's saying to you, you know, anything you want. You just pop it out, it'll automatically pause whatever you're listening to, so that's nice. Another great feature about this is the Alexa app, so I was kind of hinting at it before when I was talking about the personalization, but uh, in the Alexa app, you can actually, and I keep activating the app because I have one of the buds in right now, but uh, in the app, you can adjust the settings. So 
like uh, the sliders for the equalizer for the pass through it'll also tell you the battery life of your buds and the charging case so that's all nice it's not like playing a guessing game or anything like that another great thing about these buds is that it is also smart assistant active so you can use the amazon smart assistant you can use the iphone smart assistant i'm trying not to say the names because it could activate it for myself or anybody else and i believe it's enabled for Cortana as well. So it has accessibility to those three smart assistants. So you have options if you're on iPhone or Android. All right, so now that I've been kind of gushing about them, um, and like I said, for the price, these things are hard to beat. One thing I don't really like about them is that they are tap to control, which is something I didn't like about the AirPods and something I love about the AirPods Pro where you can just press the stem. Unfortunately, these you have to do the taps to control whatever you want to control. Uh, one taps to pause, two taps is to skip forward, three taps is to skip backwards. If you ever use any wireless earbuds where you have to do the taps, it can, I don't know, maybe it's just me, but uh, the, the taps can like sound very loud in my ear and I really don't like it. Plus, I have like accidental taps all the time where I'm just trying to adjust the echo bud in my ear and I'll accidentally like pause or skip to the next track or whatever. So I really don't like to tap controls. I really wish they would have done something like the AirPods Pro where you can just like press on the stem. Besides that, um, the tap controls are pretty similar to like the AirPods Pro where if you press and hold on a stem, it'll switch between audio pass through and noise cancellation. So if you hold on these, it'll switch between audio pass through and uh, noise cancellation. And it'll give you this nice little chime to let you know that it's switching between. So that's a nice feature to have. Um, definitely something, again, very nice for wireless earbuds at this price. One thing I don't really like about doing that though is when you're switching between audio pass through and noise cancellation, whatever you're playing in the background will keep on playing. Whereas with like the AirPods Pro, if I remember correctly, I haven't really been using them that much lately because I've been using these to review them. But if I remember correctly, when you're switching uh, back and forth between them, you can still hear the audio in the background. It doesn't completely cut it out. So. Uh, you'll still hear whatever music or video you're listening to in the background while switching between noise cancellation or audio pass through. Whereas these, it completely cuts out the whatever you're listening to in the background. So you can hear the chime, so you know that it's switching between noise cancellation or audio pass through. But on the other hand, one nice thing is that in the app, the Amazon A Word app, you can just tap a button to switch between them and I don't think it makes the noise. Let me try that out real quick. Yeah, so it doesn't make a noise, so you'll be able to still hear whatever you're trying to listen to. So that's a nice feature to have. Unfortunately, it would involve having to go into the app and do all that instead of just pressing and holding. One thing I would like to say that I really love about these is that they actually come with like three different size ear tips as well as three different size uh, wing tips is what they call them. So. Uh, the ear tips is very nice because you'll have an ear tip to fit whatever size ear you have. You also get this thing called, I think they actually call it the butterfly tip, where there's this little piece that kind of sticks up so it'll fit better in your ear canal. So that's pretty nice to have. Um, definitely feels a lot more stable on my ear. Whereas like with my AirPods Pro, if I talk or open my mouth quite a bit, uh, I feel I could feel the AirPods kind of losing its connection in my ear, like it's getting loose, like like it's going to fall out. These these are so stable, I don't feel like they're going to fall out at all. So it's very nice, even when I shake my head, I don't feel like they're going to fall out at all. So the fits of these things is very nice. But that kind of leads into a problem I have with the butterfly tips, is that they're pretty hard to get on if you don't know what you're doing like if it's your first time like it was for me trying to put them on and you uh, quickly kind of realize that you have to make sure that it's flush with the earbuds because if they're not you're going to have a hard time charging your earbuds in this case because the metal pieces on the inside of the earbuds that have to make contact with the metal piece on the charging case if they don't connect your earbuds won't charge and you'll have dead earbuds, you know, it won't be able to charge. So you really have to get the wing tips in there like perfect, perfectly fit or else your buds are not going to charge in this thing. Uh, another thing I love about this charging case though, is that it's USB-C 
connected, so USB-C powered. Plus it's also wireless charging enabled, so you can just plop it down on whatever wireless charger you have and it'll start charging. I did also order the Echo Buds wireless charging dock, but I had to cancel it because unfortunately for some reason, even though I ordered it at the same time I ordered this, like I ordered them packed like together, the wireless charging pad was delayed until July and I didn't really care about waiting all the way until July just to have a specialized charging dock just for this. So like I said, you can use whatever wireless charging pad that you have. It'll work fine with this. At least that's what I found so far. I've used a uh, MagSafe charger that I have for my iPhone and I just popped it on top and it started charging it. So you don't need that specialized charging pad for this thing. I thought we'll have a link to that as well down below if that's what you really want to get with this. It looks pretty nice, but unfortunately for me, it was just going to be delayed for too long. Another great thing that I love about this charging case is that it has two little LED indicators on the inside, which tells you if your earbuds have made a good connection to the metal pieces on the inside for them to charge. So you don't have to guess or worry about if your earbuds are charging or not, because it'll let you know on the inside. One thing that has happened before to me with the AirPods Pros that uh, for some reason, one of the buds wasn't charging. I guess I didn't make a perfect contact or something. When I tried to use it one day, I noticed that oh, the earbud was dead and I couldn't use it until I put it back in there and let it charge again. So it's pretty nice that they have these LED indicators on the inside that'll let you know that your earbuds have made good contact and they're charging. One little extra thing that I noticed with these, uh, it's probably a bad habit of mine, but I like to sleep with my earbuds in listening to stuff. Uh, I know a lot of people are going to say that's bad. I get it, but I have to listen to something when I'm going to sleep and usually my wife has a very low tolerance to noise, so it keeps her awake. So to get around that, I put earbuds in to listen to stuff while I'm going to sleep. Uh, these are not comfortable to sleep in. The AirPods Pro, way more comfortable to sleep in than these things are so it's one thing to keep in mind if that's something you do it's probably a very small number of people that actually do that but information to get out there one thing i don't really like about this charging case though is that it is pretty thick it's pretty chunky you should have seen that in my unboxing video so besides that i will say that Honestly, I think I do prefer the audio of the AirPods Pro more than I do for these Echo Buds. I love, love, love the bass that I can get out of these bad boys, but I feel like the rest of the audio isn't quite as good as the AirPods Pro. Now, do I think the AirPods Pro are worth like almost double the price of these? No. <laughs> I definitely think that if you're debating between these two, go with the Echo Buds Gen 2, Gen 2. Not the first gen, but gen two. Go with these before you get with these. Uh, unless you like to sleep with your ear pods in, then I would I would highly suggest don't go with these. But besides that, um, I prefer the audio from this a little bit more, but the amount that I enjoy the audio more on these does not justify the price difference for these. I really think that for the money, these are a much better deal to go with and yeah, I guess that's that's all I really have to say. You know, if you're in the market for wireless earbuds, I really think that you cannot go wrong with these. For the price, you get a lot. You get the ability to use three different smart assistants. You have audio pass through and noise cancellation. You have really good bass. You have a nice wireless charging case. You get so many different kinds of sizing options for the uh, ear tips and the butterfly wings so it can fit in like pretty much any ear snugly. Won't have to worry about it going away. One thing that I will say though that I just remembered, this charging case is only good for about 15 hours versus the 24 hours that these AirPods Pro charging case provide. But I will say that the Echo Buds Gen 2, I haven't scientifically tested this, but the Echo Buds Gen 2 should give you like another half an hour to an hour of battery time versus these. So if you really need battery life, um, it's hard for me to say because the charging case doesn't give you as much charge time as the AirPods Pro, but the Echo Buds, like the buds themselves give you a little bit more battery life than the AirPods Pro. But again, I will say for the price, for the money, you really can't go wrong with these. Like these, these are so good. I really do love these. There are times when I'm listening to something that I do kind of 
rare for these first, but for the most part, if I'm listening to music, I have to go to these. Like, these are so good. Anyways, that's my review for the Echo Buzz Gen 2. Tell me what you think down below. If you have any questions, I'll be happy to answer them. And again, I'll have links down below for these and the charging dock for it. And, you know, like the video. If the video was helpful, consider subscribing to the channel. Like I said, I like to do vlogs and tech reviews on this channel, so I guess I'll catch you in the next video, whenever that is.